Hello, this is a review of Charmed, the complete series, the DVD set box that you see pictured here. Um, we're here to take a look in more detail um, because some reviews report that the discs inside came with glue on them and that they're glued into place due to some packaging errors. So we're going to take a closer look at that. But overall, the box comes in nice, good shape to start with. Um, it's covered in cellophane, sticker on the side. Otherwise, it's what you expect. And then out of the box, we see the DVD as a book of spells that you see here. It actually looks quite nice. It's got nice texture on the side and the pages look interesting from the side. And then we can open it up and see what's inside here. So the pages are look pretty nice. Now the book doesn't exactly fold open at the binding here, so it lays pretty flat that you see here. Flip a few pages, and then you get to the discs. So this is how the discs are in here, so you see how they just fit into sleeves. Just slide them in. They're pretty tight fitting in, so um, you'll probably want to slide them out. But at least the first few discs, and I'll leaf, leaf through the rest to make sure that they fit fine. See, it's pretty snug as I'm pushing it back in. So it's a, it's a snug fit. What we see page after page. That one wasn't in all the way when it started. I'll come back and look at that. And looks like it has a synopsis of what's going on on the left side, perhaps pertaining to the discs. But not on every one of them. Um, the uh, one thing you'll notice is that the book doesn't stay open really well, so you can flip it on its back and then you get it to flip open like this, which honestly might be a little bit easier to flip through so that you can leaf through it like this. Now one nice thing that they included was a little bookmark so that you can remember which page you were on. So obviously it's a thick book that you flip through and you're going to be through many of the seasons and you want to remember where you left off. So um, at least by default it's stuck in this page here. But it'll always remind you that you could easily jump to this page. But then which disc are you on? Personally, I just use a little um, post-it tab that I sit here and say, well, I'm on disc one. Um, so at least when I flip to that page. So in the end, um, I rather like it. Now, it's not the most conducive way to store DVDs. Um, like if you have a DVD media cabinet, I mean, this sucker right is big, right? He's not going to just fit on the normal shelf that it is. So you end up sitting it sideways and losing a little space here. Um, of course, you could always put it back in the box in which this book fits rather snugly. So, um, but otherwise it's a pretty novel, nice looking book. Um, at each beginning of the chapter, so as you start every individual chapter, um, this is the beginning of the book, but it'll go through a little intro and then flip on in here. And then every one of them has something like the first season or second, third, fourth, and they all have, this is where they give you the lowdown on the actual seasons, um, disc by disc, you know, so disc three and then it gives you the episode. So this is your episode guide. So if we flip ahead again, um, here's the end of season one. And there we go, the complete second season, disc one, and which are on that. So it's a nice, it's a nicer than usual guide. Um, so the next thing is, as a whole, getting discs in and out isn't too much of a trouble, just not quite as easy because the book just flops open like this. Again, you know, they give you the bookmark and that's fine. Um, it's perfectly fine for, for using it. It's just more of a novelty than being quite as functional. Um, there's no problems with it whatsoever, um, but obviously flipping through the book is a little less convenient one-handed, um, but would be perfectly fine two-handed. Now one thing I should note is that it's not that easy to get it back into this box if you had planned to put it back in this box. Um, I mean, it, you can definitely get it in there, but when you slide it in, right, it just sits on the edges any which way you put it until you line it up perfectly. So this isn't the most convenient way to put it back in the box. Yeah, and most of the times um, it just sticks on the edge. Now the best way to get it into the box, if you really want to do it, is stick your finger in the side of the box so that you can bow it out and then you can slide the book in as you go. So, stuck my finger in the side of the box and now it's back in. 
This is perfectly fine for longer term storage, but honestly, you're not going to keep it in this box when you are actively watching the series. And then getting it out, you just flip it upside down and lift out like you, like this. So, just checking more discs out of the box. Everything looks flawless to me so far. Well, I checked the majority of the discs, flipping through, pulling out ones, and every single one that I pulled out turned out flawless. Now, um, so I had no glue whatsoever from the packaging at all. I don't even know where glue would be involved. Um, but I did note that the bottom disc of a lot of them didn't slide in quite all the way. Um, it seemed to be consistent. It's honestly not a big deal, right? Just because um, it's the lower one. If this one stuck out through the top, that'd be bad. But the bottom one's perfectly fine like this. Um, you can see if they're not all the way in to begin with, then it's probably more likely to stop there. It's not that they can't, but what you what you could look is, if you pull it out, there's nothing on the back. Um, but if you stick your finger in here, you can kind of feel on the other side, the inside, there's a little bit of a... Um, cardboard thing or something a piece of paper and that there's a ruffled edge along this front edge here and so the discs get a little bit caught along that sometimes as you put them in but uh, the reason why the lower discs don't slide in all the way has something to do with uh, the paper not being completely flat on the page side uh, on the other side of this here uh, but honestly that's not a problem so I'm here pretty much to review just the box itself I'm not here really to review the Charmed, the actual TV episodes. I think if you're looking at Charmed by now, you know what the episodes are. Uh, we're here pretty much to talk about any negative reviews and comments on this particular packaging of the Charmed series. Um, we found the Charmed series to be enjoyable uh, with my family. Um, just something more lighthearted that wasn't totally serious. Um, but uh, we've enjoyed the series as well, um, but overall the packaging is perfectly fine. Personally, I prefer the DVD slim packaging that can just fit in the nice little sleeves on my normal DVD media cabinet, but um, for the value that is a complete set, this was perfectly fine. So I'm perfectly happy with it, and thanks for watching the review.